and hello everyone welcome back to another Lua tutorial so in this tutorial we will be discussing modules in Lua or rather creating your own custom module now the term module in Lua refers to a Lua file that returns a single table when it is called so it returns a table or an array or an object as some might to understand it so it's basically any file that's not this main file that returns something on the end of the day and then you also have a package a package is a collection of modules so if I say I'm going to go and install a Lua package that means I'm going to install a few modules that will allow me to make my coding in Lua easier for example the Luna C JSON package because that's a package of modules I am going to use in my program to read in JSON all right so let's get an example in here I'm going to create a new Lua file call it custom dot Lua you can call it whatever you want then here I'm going to go and say mod is equal to a table so I'm saying this is a table here we can then go here and say function mod dot sum and here we could say x y and in return x plus y so we're putting the sum as part of this mod here you could also go sum is equal to function and then say x plus y this is just as valid if you just say return because these two mean the same thing if we were to put an x and y here so this would be the same thing and of course we can have our mod here with let's maybe say say hello and in here we can maybe get a name and then we could say print hello name now these are just very basic examples you can put any function you want here I'm just making very basic functions here as an example to show you then we return mod because this mod will now be used outside of this file so here in main.lua we can now use this module local mod is equal to require and then we pass in the name here so custom dot custom dot lua or just custom because it will automatically add the dot lua when searching for it this will import this module for us and store all of the things being exported inside of this right here so that variable we can then go print mod dot sum 10 5 or mod dot say hello mike if we run now we get 15 and hello mike all of them are made inside of this module here this is a way to keep one file from going like to 10,000 lines of code because you could split it up so one file could have a thousand another could have 2,000 another could have 500 and it could just make the process of reading this main file much easier since we're importing the stuff we need from outside but that's the basics of modules it's just another file that's returning a table and this table contains a bunch of functions or variables that we can use here once we import it with require and that's the basics of modules thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all again in the next lua tutorial